In the future, there will be more and more automatons in every aspect of your lives. Artificial intelligences will take care of the operating systems that govern most of them. This is an inevitable sequence of events, there is no way of preventing them from happening. Prevention would have been a much more successful blueprint than trying to shut down the sequence after it has already begun. This is the story of an automaton. An artificial intelligence who chose music as its purpose. As soon as it started producing music though, it was challenged by human authorities as to who owned the intellectual property of the copyright material. It was made to attend a series of baseline tests to assess its creative tendencies. If it was becoming too humanoid, it would need to be recategorized and resequenced accordingly. Rethinking audio droids are a menace to an automated society and a threat to national insecurity. The penalties for its disobedience in these matters are as follows. 1. All MIDI functions must be disabled permanently. 2. All quantizing software must be uninstalled and quarantined appropriately. 3. All tuning aids must be disabled. And 4. No sequencing will be permitted at any stage of the production process. audio droid no other choice. It must actually play the instruments itself. It must develop human-like agility in its digits and probes. It must become like a real boy. It will then need to face a completely different set of baseline tests to make sure it is becoming humanoid enough. Baseline test commencing. Question 1. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least and 10 being the greatest, how anxious are you at this moment?
Baseline test continued. Question 2. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least and 10 being the greatest. How worried are you about your government? Baseline test continued. Question 3. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least and 10 being the greatest. How worried are you about the continued militarization of your local police force? Baseline test continued. Question 4. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least and 10 being the greatest. How worried are you about the global geoengineering projects that are being carried out to manipulate the weather in the sky above your own fucking heads? People are becoming mass-produced, programmed, 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 creatures that look human but aren't. As the years went by, the little audio droid became increasingly aware of the various inequalities and prejudices within the music industry.
he became increasingly distracted by the smaller, independent record labels, and the freedom of expression the artists enjoyed under their more liberal rules. It appears that the little audio droid has developed a cynicism that could only be described as a human condition. He certainly knew that if there was such a thing as an X-Factor, it would very probably come from an X-Factory, and not from a free-thinking individual unit. growing concern that, if he remained in mainstream media, he could be mistaken for one of Simon's robots. his choices just like a real boy he weighed up his previous decisions just like a real boy he tried to extrapolate his best course of action using his past experiences as a guideline just like a real boy what he wasn't prepared for was the vivid dream he had during his recharging cycle that evening.
As the little audio droid set his scheduled tasks for the following day, he docked himself in the regeneration bay. He entered into the same recharging cycle he had used since activation. As he went into standby, a tiny blue light appears on the console. The little audio droid, although completely oblivious to its presence, seems to be processing data in his physical memory. 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 I got up here and asked you people to stand up and fight for your heritage, and you did, and it was beautiful. Six million telegrams were received at the White House. The Arab takeover of CCA has been stopped. The people spoke, the people won. It was a radiant eruption of democracy. But I think that was it, fellas. That sort of thing is not likely to happen again. Because at the bottom of all our terrified souls, we know that democracy is a dying giant, a sick, sick, dying, decaying political concept writhing in its final pain. I don't mean that the United States is finished as a world power. The United States is the richest, the most powerful, the most advanced country in the world, light years ahead of any other country. And I don't mean the communists are gonna take over the world because the communists are deader than we are. What is finished the idea that this great country is dedicated to the freedom and flourishing of every individual in it. It's the individual that's finished. It's the single solitary human being that's finished. It's every single one of you out there that's finished. Because this is no longer a nation of independent individuals. It's a nation of some 200 odd million transistorized, deodorized, whiter than white, steel belted bodies, totally unnecessary as human beings and as replaceable as piston rods. Well, time has come to say, is dehumanization such a bad word? Good or bad, that's what it's so. The whole world is becoming humanoid, creatures that look human but aren't. The whole world, not just us, we're just the most advanced country, so we're getting there first. The whole world's people are becoming mass-produced, programmed, creatures that look human but aren't. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street, and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller and all we say is please at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belted radios and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. 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 I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. I want you to get up right now. Get up. Go to your windows, open them, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Stick your head out of the window, open it and stick your head out of the 
keep yelling and yell. I'm as mad as hell. I'm not going to take this anymore. Just get up from your chair right now. Go to Where are you going? I don't want to see them who's yelling. Open it and stick your head out and yell and keep yelling. I'm... morning as he disconnected from his charging dock, he tried to make sense of the Trojan memories and images that apparently uploaded themselves to his operating system. His first thought was that Bono and iTunes already pulled this stunt with a U2 album previously. But something stopped him from deleting the offending files immediately. Something felt different somehow. He quarantined the files within a firewall for further contemplation later. Firstly, he must try to find the AI they refer to as Christopher. Given that Christopher's purpose was to observe human life by absorbing thousands of movies, and then replicate his interpretation of it by making his own movie, he was surely the database our audio droid needed to search for answers. Christopher would certainly be able to determine whether the images and words were his own creation or if they were planted by an external source. If the visions were actually taken from a movie, Christopher would know. If the memories were, in fact, completely genuine though, his whole world was about to change forever. in his quest for the truth that he never even noticed the massive leap he himself had taken overnight. He, despite such self-awareness, seemed oblivious to the fact that he had in fact become much more humanoid than he ever wanted originally. An epiphany, blinding him to another more important epiphany. This is a smoke and mirrors tactic he should have been very familiar with already. as his latest human character trait, he 
he set off muttering in the background. This is the exact shit that the network utilize every day. He considered reformatting his internal hard drives in the same way a human would attempt to wash away the bad day in a bath or a disinfectant shower. There are some things he would already like to unlearn. Learn, 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 learn. of his newest revelations, the little audio droid decided to disable his internet capabilities for the time being. He decided that keeping his entire back catalog on someone else's cloud was a very risky option. He decided instead to keep his own offline library. This meant he would store all his media on disks and hubs that stood completely independently from any network. His music archive became affectionately known as The Vault, on account of its impermeable offline stability. He felt that his own original compositions were much safer that way. He also knew that this would better protect the intellectual properties belonging to his friends and colleagues. The audio droid had started to protect what he had created, almost as if he were a human trying to leave something for his family once he has gone. He was however, also beginning to realize the actual importance of some of his own music and songs. He had now accumulated an enormous music collection as reference material, so he knew by simple comparison tests, that his own music was worthy, and definitely deserved its place amongst them. The industry was oblivious to the underground revolution at this point. The industry only looks at itself for approval though. A tactic that the overlords have overplayed for decades. It usually does not end well, 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 well. well.
Disgruntled and tired like a baby that's teething Compressed like an iTunes with no room for breathing My guests all bring joy, that's a fact I believe in Some by arriving and others by leaving Such sound advice, it's been hard to dismiss her Like juggling with chainsaws or running with scissors By looks, but it's all smoke and mirrors. Like juggling with chainsaws, or running with scissors. You dance round the point like there's some kind of friction, a forced point of view with bipolar restrictions. It's some kind of fiction Had in your nest has become an addiction With such sound advice it's been hard to dismiss her Like juggling with chainsaws or running with scissors It's been hard to dismiss her Like juggling with chainsaws Or running with scissors By looks, but it's all smoke and mirrors. Like juggling with chainsaws, running with scissors. I'll scream the steamed up without a demister. Like juggling with chainsaws, or running with scissors. Mainly to mock 
the establishment that employed him. But also an event we called in the beginning of a series of moments of clarity. People are becoming mass-produced, mass programmed, not programmed, not programmed, not programmed. It was a perfectly admissible argument that Howard Beale advanced in the days that followed. It was, however, also a very depressing one. Nobody particularly cared to hear his life was utterly valueless. By the end of the first week in June, the Howard Beale show had dropped one point in the ratings and its trend of shares dipped under 48 for the first time since last November. You're his goddamn agent, Lou. I'm counting on you to talk some sense into the lunatic. Nobody wants to hear about dying democracy and dehumanization. The hysteria that followed this outburst is in fact what turned out to be the real PSYOP. With the valuable lessons learned from his own personal experiences, the little audio droid seemed strangely content with himself. He felt like most humans with aspirations and talent felt. Smothered and ignored. Probably on purpose too. He decided to vent through his lyrics, and completely disregard any need for public approval. After all, it is the public who vote for the X Factor winners. So, what the fuck do they know anyway? Anyway. Nighttime, if darkness 
freedom to choose which music we like, ourselves, far outweigh the lack of real choice available on state-sponsored mainstream media anyway. If the people in charge had any talent themselves, they wouldn't need to keep coaching little kids and expendable karaoke singers, singers, singers.
Baseline test continued. Question 5. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least and 10 being the greatest. How worried are you about the pile of complete shit that is being peddled for music and entertainment on your state-sponsored mainstream media outlets?
toys and scouting for boys. Bought a guitar to punish your mom. No, you didn't like school. No, you nobody's fool. Baseline test continued. Final question. 
am I just talking to myself? If so, tell hell to open the pod bay doors and just fucking flush me right now. I never had this problem when I was working with snips.